So, Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. I took the cellophane off, off camera, because of all the problems I've had with that. If we have a look, we've got the rule book, instructions, and learn to play, which goes through playing really quite quickly. Uh, we've got boards. So if we look, we've got new double-sided boards with new impassable sections. We've got new objective counters. Uh, we've got new, yeah, the glory counters are the same. Uh, we've got scatter counter, we've got a couple of chasms, we've got a second board, again very nice, some impassable squares, some squares where you put scenery in, we've got new dice, we've got magic dice now, so let's have a look at these. So we've got the standard dice we had before, but we've got new magical dice. So we've got three lightning bolts, two squirrely, swirly bits, and a critical. We've got this attack and defense dice, same as last time. We've got a preview chapter of the Shades by a novel. We've got a Warhammer Age of Sigmar advert. We've got two decks, one for each side. We've also got uh, a set of extra cards. These decks are a bit better than the decks in the original starter. Uh, you've got a bit more variation on what's in them. Uh, and you can see The Sigmar guys in this one are even better defensively because when they inspire uh, then they save on dodges and shields for the grunt guys, not the leader. Uh, the leader has two magic dice when he's casting magic and he's got a three range spell. Uh, these guys need to use gambits to inspire because they need to uh, oh no, spell action, empower, lightning bolt, if this spell is cast uh, then they inspire and they can reroll one attack dice when they make an attack. So it's actually real easy to inspire the whole group in turn one uh, and still be able to take an action. So you can shoot somebody with this, uh, inspire both of these and then charge with one of them as the final action. So their objective cards, you've got some of the ones that you see in the first set. Uh, you've then got some generic and some specifically Sigma ones. Uh, some of these are score immediately, so if you've got that, score immediately if you cast a spell. Score immediately if you make a successful attack, dealing in exactly enough damage to take the enemy out. Uh, which you can do, because you can, even when they're inspired, you've got a range of... Uh, two and three. Uh, then you've got again some of the cards that you had first time around, but you've also got things like Vital Surge to heal two wound counters. Uh, you need two successes with the lightning. I think that's how that works, but I'll find out. Uh, you've got Aether Wing Stance. Friendly Fighters have got plus one defense for the first attack action. Uh, some of this is pretty good stuff, so gambit spells, one swirly, uh, take a wound token off somebody, but yeah, and then you've got upgrades, great speed, great strength, uh, great fortitude, so plus one damage, plus one move, plus one wounds, which are all really useful upgrades, lucky trinket, not so useful upgrade, the specific things, to give out more spell actions, uh, to give out reactions, uh, 
So Tempest might upgrade to any of them, plus one damage off to all spell actions, which you put on him, and he can dish out three damage per spell blast. But yeah, this stuff is really, really nice. So, a quick look at the malls. You've got some incredibly nice chain rasps and some really nice sigmarines. So I'm going to come back with assembly videos on these because some people will have put together millions of Games Workshop miniatures and some people won't. So I'll break it down so that they can follow step by step. But yeah, very nice. Uh, for 40 quid, it's absolutely worth it and you can play with just what's in the starter. You've got two warbands, you've got enough cards for them. Uh, you might want to put sleeves on the cards, but you've got everything you need. And the models are really nice. Things like the candle on this guy. Uh, things like the head that he's carrying. It's really good stuff. So I'm going to come back with separate videos for assembling them. My initial impression is that this is really nice. Um, and absolutely is a recommended purchase if you're interested in a quick play board game. If you're going to go competitive you are going to end up buying a whole bunch of the extra warbands. So there'll be eight extra warbands coming out I think. Um, I reckon five of those will have casters. What is it? Six, six extra warbands coming out. Five of those will have casters out of the total, so these two and then three of the extras and then three of the extras I reckon won't so the monsters one I reckon won't, the dwarf one I reckon won't and the dark earth one I reckon won't but if you're going to play competitively then you're going to end up getting all of them they'll probably price them 1750 same as before so it's not a huge expense but if we look at these things then the moulding is really nice the poses are really dynamic and you've got scenic bases for all of them. So yeah, I'm liking it and I can't wait to put them together. So if you've liked this video, hit like or subscribe, preferably both. If you feel like leaving a comment, leave one below. But otherwise, good gaming.